Welcome to Jamie Reviews. I am Jameson Michael, and rest assured, we have seen the request. So today, we're excited to finally give you guys our thoughts on the Adidas Solar Glide. By the way, this is Gretchen. Now I know she may seem nice, but she's kinda not. Anyway, the Solar Glide is the update to last year's Supernova, which was called the Supernova Glide before that. So yeah, maybe a bit confusing, but this is what Adidas considers their all-around neutral daily trainer. So let's jump right into it and see what this shoe is all about. So the upper of the Glide uses a flex fold engineered mesh that is supposed to increase flexibility and comfort. It's not as stretchy as the mesh from the previous Supernova, but it does provide a solid containment of the foot. Now the upper did feel snug at first, but it did adapt after a few runs. But I wouldn't by any means consider this a wide fitting shoe. Breathability was about average. The Glide does not look like it has much ventilation, but it's breathable enough to where we can't complain. At the very least, it breathes much better than the Solar Boost. Speaking of the Solar Boost, the Glide reminds me a lot of that shoe, in that you have propulsion rails on the sides to help with the stability of the shoe, without being too invasive, and how the heel collar flares out to reduce any irritation in the Achilles, while still allowing a bit of flex between the heel counter to provide a more natural feel. The one thing that I want to point out is the flexibility in the upper between the laces and the toe box. While it does contain your foot in well, it would have been nice to have a little more flexibility in that area. It's a small thing, but it's still worth noting. Overall, the upper was decent. Not bad, not great, just okay. So as we all know, boost is life. And the Solar Glide brings the full length boost as its main cushioning setup. Like I said earlier, it does make use of EVA rails to help stabilize the ride. When comparing the feel of the Glide to the Solar Boost, the Solar Boost may have had a little more underfoot feeling of boost. But other than that, the ride felt pretty similar. We had great cushioning in the heel, and of course the responsiveness during toe off is about what you expect from a performance boost shoe. I happen to like bouncy and responsive rides, and the Solar Glide definitely has that. Now the boost isn't the lightest material, but I think as a daily trainer the shoe can work for a variety of runs. Short runs, long runs, maybe even a tempo if we don't already own something lighter like an ID0 Boston Boost. The ride of the shoe is smooth, and the transition from foot strike to toe off feels very satisfying. If you like boost, you'll like this. And if you're anti-boost, then I'll just assume you're probably not watching this video anyway. So yeah, great midsole. So the outsole uses a very similar setup to many of the other Adidas Boost shoes. You got a continental rubber stretch web setup across the entire bottom of the shoe. Nothing new here, but it provides great road traction, and allows the shoe to flex a bit more naturally, and I found it durable. So the Solar Glide is a good all-around shoe. I wish the upper allowed a little more room, but it did break in after a few wears. It fit Gretchen perfectly fine, so maybe my foot's just wide. Anyway, the feel of the ride was solid all around. It was soft, it was bouncy, and responsive, but just a little heavy. Gretchen and I both enjoyed the shoe. And if you're wanting an everyday running shoe, and you believe that boost is life, I say go for it. Well done. And real quick, as a side note, I did try out the Solar Glide ST, which is the stability model. So the main differences that I noted was the firmer feeling of the boost under the arch. And the boost in the forefoot area had a slightly more responsiveness feel to it, which I kinda liked. My arch did start to ache after a while. But I like to think that it's more of an issue for me because I'm used to neutral shoes. The upper was similar with slightly less stretch. Other than that, the ST version was similar to the normal Glide. So if you like stability shoes, go with the ST. If you have no idea what stability is, or if you're one of those people who always ask if I can compare this shoe to the Pegasus, then just try the normal Solar Glide. Supposed to bike past me. Oh, yeah, sorry. You know how this works. <laughs> yes. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Jamie Reviews. Today's episode, we have Gretchen. She's wearing the Adidas Solar Glide. I messed that up. But that's okay. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, like. Don't dislike. Don't be that guy or girl. Um, with that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, follow me on Jameson Runs on Instagram. Do you have an IG? Yeah. Want to share it? Sure. Okay, what's your IG? Uh, my Instagram's at Gretchlitz. There you go. That is so creative. I know. It's like my first name, kind of, and then my middle name, and then the first initial of my last. Yeah. I'm the coolest, though. No. Definitely go follow the gram. All right, fade to black.
<laughs> <laughs> over it.